On today's episode of Moto Cheese. So what's up guys? I took the factory air box off, put a cone filter on the back of the carburetor, just to see if this is restrictive at all. This is the big air box that comes with. It's pretty massive. And then I also took off the little pollution thing. Plug the little vacuum port. And see how it works. But it definitely opens it up a little more here. This is definitely a baffle for air. But I don't know how restrictive it is. It's definitely louder. If it's not much of a difference, I'm going to put it back on. I'd like to jet it up a little more if I can get a little more out of it. But I think this is what's restricting me beside the exhaust. But I don't really want to go any louder on the exhaust. Although, I may if I can get a little more out of it. Or maybe I should just get a cam. Or maybe I should just go with the big bore kit. Or maybe I should put a turbo. Right. Sold a WR. Back to Gary, the guy I bought it from, for a friend of his. I also sold the bras to my friend Tim, the one that rode it a few times. Because I have too many bikes, and I figured it'll go to better use, and I'll be riding with him, so he'll still be getting updates. Let's see what this does. Oh, oh, oh. So I don't really notice a difference. The only difference I notice is it, it's like my old 76 Cutlass I used to have. I flipped the air cleaner cover on it and the four barrel opened up. So it makes noise. So yeah, I don't think there's much of a difference. I don't know if it's worth keeping it off. It's quieter the other way. I just put the air box back on. A few moments later. We're going to see if the Jeep can make it. And if the little Grom clone can make it. It's going to be muddy. Damn, it's going to be muddy. Let's see if the Hellcat Raptor 125 goes through the mud here. Well, that did good. <laughs> yeah, it's muddy. That's some nasty mud right there. Oh man. <laughs> Nick's like, I'm not going. I don't know. You're loaded up pretty good. I don't know which way you can go. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. Woo! 
told you it's muddy. <laughs> See, it does good, right? I gotta say, the only thing that kind of stinks is the rubber foot pegs. Because when they get muddy, it just slips off. Well, Hellcat did good. Hellcat. Raptor. A few moments later. Haven't ridden with Blade on a TBR7 in a while. I was gonna wear my gloves, and then I didn't bring my gloves. Of course. So the TBR7's running good for him. Been a really good bike. The Magician, when he had it, he had a lot of issues. I think most of it was because he was... We didn't gear it up and he was revving out a lot and it would vibrate a bunch of stuff off. If you plan on riding these on a road, you definitely want to up the sprocket to a 17 on the front, maybe even go down a few teeth on the back. I would have took the Hawk out, but it's still it's kind of been crappy and it's still stored away. And I did start it, but I didn't go over it. I didn't do my spring maintenance on it, which basically uh, change the oil, check the air pressure and the tires, check the chain pressure, check the adjustments, chain pressure. Wow, a lot of bikes out today. Check the chain tension. Check the fluid levels for the brake. Check the cables, clutch, brakes. Just basically go over the whole thing, you know. You gotta do it for safety. You'll probably go over the bolts again too. At least the frame bolts and the main bolts. Make sure everything's tight. The knobby slowed this down a little bit. But not terrible. But for me, it's worth it. So I'm either going to big board or cam it. Wow, people are all out all over the place. They're all social distancing. Everybody's out today. That's fine as long as you stay away from people. You know, you got a respirator. Oh yeah? I don't know why. Junk, you gotta buy China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I filled it up, I don't know if I filled it up too much, it went to overflow, but I didn't oh. coming down my road, I did a wheelie going down my road. That's what, probably why. I stopped at the end of the road, it started pissing out of here. I'm like, I've never had it happen. Too full. <laughs> Look at that. Good for them. Oh man, they blocked that right off. the T-dubs puffing smoke. Jeebus, there's a lot of people. the big one. Surprised didn't blow the seals out of it, my fat ass. Let's 
when the summer comes, you're not keeping these people inside. I believe in social distancing still. And wear a mask when you're around people. Not that it protects you, it protects the other person. We gotta get moving on with this thing. May not agree with me, but hey, the essential people's there working. Get people back to work and just do it smarter. Just slipping too much. Everybody's happy just to be outside. Look how happy everybody is just to get outside. Because they're happy. Bouncer, bouncer. Got the helmet cam going on. There's no reserve and she's a flashing. Oh, a little dachshund. I had like a third of a tank and going up the hill it was flashing, now it's back up to, well. Oh, I think it was trying to go off speed. Rides good. Did you put the uni filter on there or no? I didn't and I took it off. It actually runs better with the box. Yeah? Your clutch is pretty bad, huh? Oh, yeah. That was a good wheelie though. Yeah, I hit that. We just hit the gas station right before you showed up. I literally messaged you at the gas at the freaking... Oh, I didn't even check because I was driving. Why, oh, you want something to drink or something? Gas. Oh, gas? You need gas? That's what I've been saying. Oh, I didn't know that. He definitely heard me. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's why I was pointing at my gas and I was going like this. Oh. Nice. Thanks. I'll save it too if I need gas. We'll pour it in here and I'll pour it in there. <laughs> you like this thing a lot. Yeah. If I had a little more power, I think I'd like it better. <laughs> to berm.
nitro power look out oh, I can see the bottom of the gas tank wow it's full already Yeah, let's go. I like that thing. It's all right. Raptor. Raptor. Oh wait, is that the year? No, this is a 2020. So why is it? Oh, what's the wait for? Just test. I don't know. It's its number. 2020. You're fancy, huh? Oh man, I feel it's faster already with this super. I'm kidding. Hmm. Somebody jump. Yeah. Kind of new, too. This actually handles. This is better than the DB36. Isn't that funny? The suspension, softer. Yeah, you can rip right through. I was just saying, this is this is smoother than the DB36 I took through here. Remember that? Motor mount's holding up. <laughs> this is a Chinese Grom. They're still sick. <laughs> They're fun. It's definitely a good spot to rip around. Yeah. yeah. Tearing up that log pretty good. <laughs> Jumping off of it. You guys I jumped off it. Yeah, come on. I'll bottom out for that. I bottom out. Oh, that thing would definitely bottom out. <laughs> nah. Nah. Nah, don't do it, Chris. No, no. Alright, f*** it, I'm recording. <laughs> Nice. Whoa! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it all okay, easy now. Nice. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> More happy people. Man, I haven't seen people this happy since I don't know when. <laughs> Blade was a little nervous on that one. Ride it out, bleed. I still don't know why this tack flakes out. I checked all the wires, everything. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. <laughs> I have no idea why it's flaking out like that. C7. Oh. The hell is that? I don't think he stopped for that stop sign. Yeah, nice. gas station. Did good, Whitey. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.